Hello and welcome to another episode of Develop with WP. In today's video we're going to pick up where we left off with our term meta. Uh, you can see here where we have our fields that we've created. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of saving this data to the database. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is add a new hook. So uh, if we were working with post meta and you've seen me do this before, we would use the save post hook. Uh, but with term meta, there's some different hooks. And the hook that we need to look into right now is the create hook. So let's type this out. All right, so similar to how I broke down this hook where it's a dynamic hook, uh, the saving hook is also dynamic for term meta. So if you were, for, so since our term taxonomy is location, our hook is called create location. But if you were working with regular categories, this would be create underscore category, okay? So that's how this dynamic function, this dynamic hook works. So now let me, let's go create this function. All right, another thing about this hook is that that's similar to post meta when we're saving post meta is that when we save post meta, we're giving the post ID. And similarly, when we're working with term meta, we are given the term ID. So we have this available to us. All right, and then we're going to check for two things. I'm going to paste these in and we'll talk about them. All right, so this is similar to how we would do post meta, but pretty much I have two basic checks in here. The first one is just to see that there is a nonce field uh, filled out, that it's present, because if we don't even have a nonce, then we know we have no reason to be here and we'll get out. The next thing we do is we use WP verify nonce and we confirm that we've got a got the right nonce field information. Uh, that way we know that this is a safe and secure uh, request. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a variable called social networks. And it's going to be equal equal to our supported networks array. So this array that we created in the first video of all of our social media accounts, we're going to go and get that data again. Uh, and then we're going to loop through this data and save it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build out what the key is. Um, so we're going to go term key. Because this is a, because we're looping through here and we're having to create the key dynamically, uh, this is just a nice clean way, I, I thought, to create a key. So I'm going, to use, I'm going to use sprintf. And our key is going to be location underscore placeholder underscore metadata. And then the value we're going to pass into it is going to be network. So whatever network is, is going to get placed into here, which is actually going to be each of our face, our social networks. So Facebook, for example, is going to be location underscore Facebook underscore metadata. Then we're going to go if is set post. this term key we just created. So if we have metadata in the field, like if the person did fill out this field, then we want to save it. And just like in post meta, we would, go, we would call update post meta. Here we're going to call a new function called update term meta.
And in here we're going to pass in the term ID for the current term. We're going to uh, escape this attribute. Since it's a dynamic attribute, it's just safe to escape this term key. And then we're going to, because we know these are URLs, because each of these is a URL or should be a URL, we're going to uh, sanitize this before we save it into the database. So we're going to go escape URL raw and we're going to pass the data from the field which is stored in this post variable. All right, so let's give this a try. I'm just going to create a state, New York, uh, and then I'm going to paste in some URLs. We're going to hit add new location. All right, so I added our location. Uh, and if we go look at this location, you'll see that there's no fields here. And that's because we have to do something else first. But let's check the database uh, to see if we have anything. So you'll see right here, because we're on WordPress 4.4, we now have this new table called term meta. And if you look in here, you can see that our stuff is actually in here uh, for the term ID of number four. And if we go look at terms, we can see that the term ID four is New York. So we have successfully saved our metadata to this uh, taxonomy. But uh, like I just said, you don't see it here. And that's because these are two different screens. So unlike when you're working with post meta and creating custom fields for post types, um, where you create a post type and where you edit a post type are the same, they're the same view. But with term meta, you, or, or with any taxonomies, you create the taxonomies here, but then you edit them on a separate screen. So because they're two different screens, we actually have to replicate the fields uh, twice. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to add some more hooks. The first thing we're going to add is uh, I'm going to copy this one because it's going to be pretty similar. So this is the hook that we use to create the original fields. But all we have to do is it's going to be called location edit. Hence, because it's the edit page. And then I'm going to call this function edit. And we'll go create this function right here. And this function is going to get passed from the hook the term itself. And then similar to what we did in the other one up here, we are going to copy, we're going to create a nonce and pull in our social networks. All right, we're going to close out PHP for a second, just like we did before. Um, we're going to create our table head just like we did before. Uh, and then we're going to loop through and do a loop again. And we're going to close PHP and then open it back up so we can do some HTML. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a table head and we're going to give it a scope equal to a row. And inside of this, we're going to create a label. Uh, actually, we're going to create all the same stuff we did for our other label. So we'll just grab that right here because we already have it made. 
put it inside of here. And then the next thing we're going to put is we're going to do a table data. And we're going to input um, our same input. And then we're just going to change one thing. So the one thing we need to do different here is because because these fields that are going to get displayed here may have a value from the database or they may not have a value, we need to do some stuff with the value attribute. Uh, on our add fields, we just left it empty because it'll never have anything in it or never need to show anything in it. Um, but this, these fields will need to show us a value if there is a value in the database. That way we can edit it. So what we need to do is we need to do some PHP here. Um, and simply we're going to do a, a ternary single line conditional check. So we're going to echo and then we're going to do a check. We're going to say if not empty uh, metadata and we're going to create this. So we're going to go up here. Um, And we're going to create a metadata variable and we're going to fetch the data from the database. Again, if we were using post meta, we would say get post meta. But since we're working with term meta, we're just going to say get term meta. And we're going to pass it um, the term. term term ID uh, and actually let's move this down so because we're doing PHP we need to move this bracket down below all right um, and then we also need to make our key so you'll remember how down here when we saved this we did current term key um, equals sprint def location blah 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 <laughs> we're gonna steal that because we need that up here and now we can go and pass in the term key which is the second parameter for get term meta and then the last one is true to make sure that we get a nice unserialized uh, array of data so now we'll go back down here to our value and then we have that set up so we're saying if not empty metadata so, you know, if we have metadata, then we want to output it. So we'll do escape it attribute metadata. So show it. Um, else, just show an empty string. So if we don't have anything, the value field will be empty. If we do have metadata, then we'll display the metadata. Alright, this looks good. Let's go and see what we got. So if I refresh here, we should see our fields populate and they should have their information. Hmm. Ah, we missed. I don't see what we missed. So one of the things we missed is that all of this stuff needs to be in a table row. So uh, we're going to go uh, table row and then I'm going to go and put all of this stuff into it. Uh, and then this table row needs a class. This is a WordPress class of, uh, what was it, form field and another class this is just a class I gave it location metadata which I didn't actually use but it might be useful for you uh, in the future so let's go see what that looks like alright very good that looks a lot better so now you can see that our fields are down here we have our nice title like we had before uh, and they have we have the information in here and then we can actually change these um, oops 
<clears throat> we can change these uh, and save them. But there's one more thing we need to do before we can actually edit stuff here. And this is the last step. Uh, the last thing we need to do is just how we had a this create hook that saves information. We need a, We need to also save the information here. The beauty of this though is that we'll actually be able to reuse this function. We simply just need to change the name of the hook and it's going to be edit location instead of create location. So we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to refresh this. Go down here. I'm going to change one of these URLs. And hit update. And you'll see that it successfully changed my value. So that is perfect. So there you have it. We've successfully created uh, term meta. We've covered, uh, throughout the two videos, we've covered creating the fields for the creation page as well as the edit page. And we've also taken care of saving and validating and sanitizing the data into the database. Um, and we would be ready to go. The next part of this would be actually using this information. So in the next video, we'll actually, I'll actually walk you through not a full-fledged example because I don't want to build out an entire template to show this data in like a crazy unique way. But what I am going to show you is at a real basic level of how to get this data out of the database. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks. Crank it up.